Hi there! Welcome back to the Dunbar Dog Diaries. I'm Kelly Dunbar. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do a follow-up slash wrap-up session with our favorite dog star, Knox. She recently got adopted by a, a lovely man named Jesse, uh, largely in part, I think, due to the fact that we've been training her to be a calm and more controllable companion. And Jesse thinks that she's really a great match for his lifestyle. They go to work together in San Francisco every day, and I thought that today we would just go um, visit them and check up and see how they're doing together. there. We are here today at the Exploratorium in San Francisco following up on the saga of Knox, our Dunbar Dog Diaries star, the star of our first series. Knox is here with Jessie, who is her new owner. We adopted her about six months ago, right, I would say? Yeah. And Jessie <laughs> works here at the Exploratorium and Knox uh, comes to work every day with him. So we're here to um, just learn a little bit about their life together and see how things are going. Uh, you can see how calm she is right now. She's staying. Um, I won't lie, cameraman has a ball. She still loves her ball. But, um, you know, she's. you'll see in some of the footage today that she really, she's cool. She's walking around, she's good. Have you been working on her training since you got her? I've been working on her training um, mostly in the morning since we show up to work. Mm -hmm. um, I have about, usually half an hour to an hour uh, in the morning but I show up early and we spend a little time um, working on just comfortably walking around the museum, uh, finding areas to sit and place on and working on holding. So and we're still working on the same kind of things right which yes. is calming behaviors yes. and, and um, duration for like just chilling out mm -hmm. right? Yes. Because if she's with at work with you all day like she you can't she has to learn to just hang out, right? Yes. I mean, you can't train her all day long. I, I can't be engaged with her 24-7. No, so, no. Uh, so. She's been very good, uh, especially as I sit down on my desk and then um, she'll sit down and just chill out with me. Nice. And that, that's the same at uh, bars or restaurants yeah, or whatever Yeah, yeah, you too. take her out for meals, I see all the time. A lot of them, yeah. Cafes and you have your regular watering hole that you go to. Yes. And so, um, yeah, so she's, she's been pretty good. What has worked for you to get her to chill out? I think mostly um, having uh, some sustained engagement uh, prior to it so we can get some of her energy out and then uh, then I can find that she's actually listening to me. And so you know that you have to exercise her in the morning yes. pretty much She every needs day. an everyday long yeah. exercise. And we're fortunate because you seem to be an early riser. Yeah. So she, you get up and it's knock time. It's time. Like so right you go for walks and you play ball mm -hmm. every morning. I, you mentioned she can play ball here in the exploratorium. Yeah, actually play ball uh, inside the galleries in space. Uh, yeah, pier 15 awesome. and uh, Pier 17 as well. Okay, cool. Um, there's uh, there's uh, another pier where they have a, oh, an open driveway where nobody's there in the morning. Oh, nice. And to actually play like, okay, cool. long fetch. And I've, I've seen pictures of you, you, uh, Knox like, on a ship, is that, or a boat? Yeah, well, I, I have a, a boat personally that she's been going out on. And then we also have a... Um, Crane that drops a work platform in the water oh, here, okay. and she's come out on that, okay. uh, not so, under the pier, but just around the pier, just for for explosion. Like she's been on some of the equipment and stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. She's, she she's actually in the, the cab of the crane when I operate nice. the crane here yeah. as well. Um, and I just like that she likes to be a part of whatever I'm doing, um, and it's also another way to make sure that she stays happy. So when you when you first got Knox, um, what was your biggest challenge right away? I think my biggest challenge was um, getting her attention when uh, there was a ball involved <laughs> <laughs> or in the public space. Uh, dogs? Um, was that an issue at first? So far for me, dogs have not been, but uh, motorized oh scooters, um, mm -hmm. oh, skateboards, bicycles, yeah. anything with movement uh, was, was challenging at first. Um, and so we had to, to get that get communication level um, a little more direct uh, in my life. And she um, is better now? She's a lot better. She's gotten better. Yes, you she's gotten a lot better. 
Um, she has a you know much less of a tendency to, to lunge any moving object. I still have to keep some awareness around it, and, and I know they're present. I usually uh, press and, and talk to her for a little bit first, mm -hmm. and then she, she tends to calm, calm down. Okay, yeah, so you, it helps if you get a little head start. Yes. And if you've taken the edge off her yes. before you act, put her into intense environments, yes. right? Because, the, I mean, she is here during the day when it's open, when the music yeah. museum is open, every, you know, what, four days a week you're here when I'm people are here? Week. And then, but, okay, so yeah. that's great. Um, and she's been great with uh, children as well. There are yeah. other dogs here and, yeah. and a lot of children present. So I walk her uh, on leash uh, throughout the public uh, during the day. And, and groups of 10 to 20 kids will come and swarm and want to right? come you know, yeah. They always ask and uh, they, they love it. And she seems to really enjoy that interaction. She's never been defensive or anything like that. So it's been really great. In the time that I was here before, I you were open to the public at that moment and everybody was coming up to say hi to yeah. us and she has a fan club here as well a lot of people know her um and why did you decide that knox was your, the dog for you I, I know you'd waited for a while it's true it's true i think um within about a week i couldn't lie to myself anymore <laughs> um, and she was just so engaging i felt like she really made a connection with me uh, within a day or so. I feel like the first day you met, you had a nice yeah. connection. That yeah. was a fun day. It was. And, uh, it took me a while to soften yeah. up to realize yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just, all saw it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was nice because you were very careful mm -hmm. and thoughtful about it. You didn't um, make an impulse decision by any stretch. No, no. By anything, I was going the other direction. Of, like, am I really sure? I just, my, my last dog had passed away after 16 years, a few months prior, and I didn't know if I was ready yet. Yeah, yeah. What was your favorite thing about her at the beginning? Um, I think just the, the amount of um, physical interaction that she has engages with me directly. She's very loving. She's very loving. She loves to play. And also, uh, when I go home, she goes just to cuddle with me, too. Yeah, yeah. She's just, just always kind of present. She always uh, has a way to, to make sure that some of her is touching you with your toe mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. you know? And she's very fortunate because you like to bring your dog around everywhere yes. you go and you get to take her to the country mm -hmm. and she goes on a boat, right? She goes to work. She has almost all the uh, the land, sea, uh, uh, you know, maybe not air yet. Not air, not yet. <laughs> not yet. I don't know. But she's also, you've taken the ferry to work. Right? Yes, you take the ferry been, to work. She's been, uh, she's been great. Mm -hmm. She loves uh, uh, going on the ferry. It takes, I think the first couple times uh, we, we took it, uh, I tried to make sure we, we were engaging uh, with her the entire time. But as uh, the more and more trips she's taking, the more she just really right, lays out my feet. Part of the routine now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and other fairy goers seem to really enjoy her. Yeah. Too, so. Well, she's the star everywhere she goes. Everyone loves to interact. And as you said, she's she's a very um, she's very social. Yes. And loving. So yes. you know, it's, it's nice. And while she's still, I, I mean, I think we have some film of her doing her jumps. Knox still got hops. That has not changed. It's the truth. But um, she also <laughs> still loves to roll over and do her belly rub time and yes. everything. So, Well, thank you very much for letting us come today and, and visit her here. Um, I'm, I couldn't be happier with how this worked out. Thank so, you so much. I couldn't be happier. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My last dog, uh, I had to, and she went almost everywhere with me. And uh, it's really important to me to, to have that kind of activity in my life. Um, so when Knox came into my life, it took me a little while uh, to, you know, to, to accept that, that type of commitment again. Um, but once we, we started engaging with each other, uh, we realized that really gave a lot to me as well. And um, really made me feel like she was the, the one to actually supply that, you know, for me in my life.